Our first job of the afternoon is to pick up the two teams. Liverpool with Bruce Grobelar in goal. Glenn Hussein, number two. Number three is Steve Staunton. Four is David Burrows. Five, Ronnie Whelan. Six, Alan Hansen. Seven, Barry Venison. Eight, Ray Houghton. Nine, Ian Rush. Ten, John Barnes. And eleven, Steve McMahon. A side that's still without Peter Beardsley, who's one of the two substitutes. How are Liverpool going to play? We're getting that sort of information out of Kenny Dalglish. Really is like getting blood out of a stone. But you can assume that John Barnes will play as a front partner with Ian Rush. Arsenal, meantime, let's look at their side with John Lukic in goal. Number two is Lee Dixon. Three, Nigel Winterburn. Four, Michael Thomas, scorer of that goal that clinched the title last May. Five, David O'Leary. Six, Tony Adams. Seven, David Rowcastle. Eight, Kevin Richardson. Nine, Alan Smith. Ten is Niall Quinn. And 11, Perry Groves in place of Brian Marwood, who's missing because of a family bereavement. Arsenal play, of course, with those two six-footers up front, Alan Smith and Niall Quinn, putting to the test that theory that Liverpool are sometimes vulnerable when things come at them in the air at the back. The two subs for both sides, for Liverpool, Peter Beardsley and Jan Molby, and for Arsenal, Martin Hayes and Siggy Johnson. Our referee today, Michael Peck of Kendall in Cumbria. Teams have tossed up, they're changing ends. Arsenal will be defending the cop end. Jimmy Greaves, uh, let's get a verdict from you first of all, or rather uh, an idea of how the game will go. Well, the atmosphere here is pretty tense, Brian. I mean, here we have a North London side that had the effrontery to come up here last year and not only win the championship, but by, win it by two clear goals. So one can see a Liverpool team bent for revenge. But I think things will be pretty tight to start with. Liverpool will get the game underway. Just ready for the first blast of the whistle from Michael Peck, who's a deputy headmaster from Catherine School in Kendall in Cumbria. And away we go. Liverpool, no doubt, looking for revenge for the events of last May, although I suppose it's fair to say but whatever happens, they'll never really quite erase the memory of that historic night. And Arsenal snatched the championship from them. Here's Tony Adams, the Arsenal captain. And one of the imponderables, of course, so far as Arsenal are concerned, is going to be their attitude after that shattering defeat at Oldham in midweek in the Middlewoods Cup. George Graham saying that was a totally unacceptable performance by an Arsenal side. They certainly need to put in an acceptable performance to have any chance of beating Liverpool today. Rowcastle, Quinn. There's O'Leary. Oh, a token missed kick by O'Leary. Rush has pounced on it. Houghton is through the middle. And a great chance for Liverpool against the post. Arsenal are saved after the mistake by O'Leary. And a great break by Rush and by... Houghton, what an amazing break and an amazing escape for Arsenal. Jimmy Greaves? Well, actually, Ray Houghton should have scored there. I know it's easy to criticise a player so early on in the game in the first minute when you're not fully warmed up and things are not going for you, but uh, great ball in by Ian Rush. He's looked up, he's done all the right things. I think he'd be disappointed he didn't score. Whelan. It would have been just the impetus that Liverpool required to get their afternoon started. A throw going uh, Liverpool's way. David Burrows will take it. Now he's playing at left back with uh, Benison at right back. And they're putting Steve Staunton virtually at this moment on left side of midfield with Hussein and Hansen, the centre-backs. And... Here's Winterburn. And McMahon and Whedon, of course, the real motors in the midfield for them. Free kick to Liverpool. Yes, an unnecessary oh. tra tackle there, really, by by big Tony Adams he needn't have done that and on, on one Ray gets Houghton. the feeling that uh, Arsenal have got to settle down pretty quick they've been let off the hook once and they've got to settle down 
Strange made an interesting little break towards the near post. Hussein was charging in at the far post. And there's no doubt that Liverpool are fired up for this one. They arrived as they normally do about an hour and a quarter before the game and the dressing room door was shut and that team meeting went on for a good long time while Kenny Dalglish clearly was winding them up. Mind you, Kenny's team talks take a long time because they need an interpreter for Alan, don't they? Dixon with the throw for Arsenal. Just remember if Arsenal win, they go three points clear at the top. A draw puts them one point clear at the top. If Liverpool win, they go top on goal difference. So those really are the credentials for the outstanding game of the weekend. Up goes Hussein. bench and had a word with uh, Kenny Dalglish number seven here's Barnes Adams Richardson Smith the first to react to that one here's Quinn what a good ball for Quinn, but only Smith is up. Richardson's trying to get up quickly enough. Perry Groves. Smith trying to get underneath this one. It was McMahon's header, and Quinn gives it straight to Staunton. Houghton to rush. Venison has clearly taken a knock on the head and is, is reeling a little bit, holding his head in some pain really quite know where he is at the moment a lot of space over here now for Dixon out of play it's an Arsenal throw and they're bringing on uh, Roy Evans to have a look at Barry Venison. And we think it was a clash of heads. We may be able to show you that clash of heads. There goes Venison jumping for it. Well, with Glenn Hussein, in fact, his own teammate. Score still nil nil, but Liverpool have had that one incredible attack. Rush and Houghton between them combining superbly. Houghton hitting the Arsenal post. He's not looking too bad at the moment there, Brian. He seems to be quite uh, coherent. And I don't Roy know whether he's saying, What am I showing you? Which fingers am I showing you? How many have I got up? Well, let's have a look at that Ray Houghton shot against the post from the other side of the uh, field this time there's the uh, miss kick by uh, David O'Leary and look how quickly Ian Rush has pounced on it also look how quickly Ray Houghton is in position here takes it on against the post and Arsenal breathe again and Benison is obviously in a bad way and is coming off It's what they I will I imagine they're trying to do Ronnie Moran has run on the pitch there the doctor too I think they probably were trying somehow to hold him up and keep him on if they possibly could but he clearly is slightly concussed I imagine and 
Liverpool presumably will decide whether or not they bring a substitute on or whether they try to get uh, Venison fit again. But in the meantime, where are we? Yes, it's a throw for Arsenal on the far side. Lee Dixon with it. Michael Thomas stabbed away there by Hansen. It's Thomas. Adams. Saying gets it back to Bravala. Usual for Liverpool, uh, Bravala with only one clean sheet in their last seven games, which just gives a little indication of uh, how the Liverpool form has been a bit wavery over the last uh, six weeks or so. Excellent. Suggests that there might be some activity on the bench. And it looks as though Peter Beardsley is coming on. I was quoted in one newspaper this morning saying, if I didn't get picked today, I would seriously have to think about my long term future at Liverpool. Liverpool don't normally like that sort of uh, explosion. And here is Peter Beardsley now on as a substitute. Now, what will that do to their formation? Will they switch Barnes? Indeed, Barnes has now gone drifting away to the left flank, and uh, Beardsley and Rush will be the strike men. This is saying. Hansen. Barnes. And Abakman. Foul on him by Richardson. Richardson being called to referee Peck. And a free kick to Liverpool. Richardson being taunted with the chant of Everton rejects. Everton, one of his former clubs, of course, as indeed was Watford. Barnes with the free kick. Floated towards Rush. Adams got up well for Arsenal there, needed to. Hussein with the head of Beardsley, couldn't get to it. Dixon just backs it away for Arsenal to safety. And Liverpool get another throw. Ten minutes gone. And still we await the first goal. Beardsley. Castle pulling it away for Arsenal, finding Niall Quinn. A free kick to Arsenal. Jimmy Reeves, a lot of uh, managers, I think, fear Barnes most when he does play as a front runner where there is great responsibility on him all the time. I think they normally feel that for all the great qualities he has he sometimes can drift out of it a little bit when he's out on the flanks well that really is where Liverpool have put him now Rocastle trying to go around Staunton it's a goal kick well, well if I was uh, George Graham that's exactly where I would want to see John Barnes and that's on as close to the touchline as possible because when he is playing up front and drifting around he's far more dangerous and I think they'd much sooner see him out there where he is at the moment. Rush just knocking it on. But similarly, Peter Beardsley is a, a great little player. The problem is he, as so often has been said, he doesn't quite score as many goals as his talents would suggest. And seven in 37 England appearances. Mind you, he's got seven this season for Liverpool, but only 12 in the whole of last season. Maybe you feel he doesn't quite score often enough, Jim. Well, I have to say that I think he is, he is an excellent player with great skill, but that is his problem, Brian. He doesn't score enough goals. And they play him up front, and you play people up front to score goals. It's Arsenal's throw. Perry grows with it, who hurls quite a good long throw. There it is, towards the head of Niall Quinn, six foot four of him. Perry Groves again. Winterburn needing to back paddle, pedal and Beardsley was after him. John Lukic. 
Thomas, Dixon. He's early on in the game. You just can't legislate for that sort of thing, but it very nearly let the little win. It's a nice piece of skill there by Quinn. Thomas gets it out towards Rowcastle. He's deceived. Staunton played the cross in. Provolar down as both Rose and uh, Smith went in. Good piece of football that by Roe Castle, who is looking quite dangerous for Arsenal at the moment. Here's Steve McBarn. Out to Burrows. McMahon. McMahon again. Flip to Hansen. Doing a lot of work through that midfield, though, making it hard. There's Thomas trying to close down Barnes. McMahon again. This time finding Whelan. Applause from around Anfield for that. Some good, cool play there by Liverpool. But the ball to Beardsley goes beyond him, and it'll be a throw to Arsenal. Sides have already met three times this season. The Charity Shield, where Liverpool won 1-0, and then the Makita Trophy, the pre-season at Wembley, then uh, Arsenal won by a goal to nil. And then when it really got down to the business, Arsenal, of course, have knocked Liverpool out of the Littlewoods Cup this season with that late goal from Alan Smith. But here's Rush now for Liverpool. It's a bit strong there by Adams on Rush. And uh, the Arsenal captain uh, is going to get a yellow card. I don't know what it's got to do with Perry Groves. No, but... Groves should stay out of it. And Adams, it's got to be said, has deserved this yellow card for plain stupidity, really. It's his second clumsy challenge in an area where it's been totally unnecessary. So, yellow card and a free kick to Liverpool. waiting in the middle, Barnes in there, Hussein's come up from the back. In fact, it reached the head of Hussein and went behind for the goal. Captain of the uh, Swedish international side. Over 60 caps for his country and some blood coming from a wound, presumably uh, the clash of heads with Barry Benison. It was Smith who got the buffeting there, but the free kick <laughs> gives the uh, free kick to Liverpool. Go along with that one again. And now Liverpool get the throw. Peter Beardsley takes a short one to John Barnes. Now Steve Staunton, the young Irishman, across by him towards Ray Howden. Going to go and his head to it. David Burrows for Liverpool. by McMahon, a free kick, this time to Arsenal. Slightly a phrase of edge in that midfield between uh, McMahon and Richardson. There's a touch of sandpaper about it. It's a battle through those midfields that we ought to watch fairly closely this afternoon. A free kick to Liverpool, still 0 0. Steve Staunton with it. Finding Barnes with a good ball. Oh, 
Jones in turn looking for a rush, but uh, Dixon, the fullback, comes away with it. Richardson, McMahon's after him, and they're doing a bit of hounding here, and the back pass was accurate, it needed to be, because Houghton was in there as well. Castle. Through two challenges there. The second one against McMahon was a brave one indeed. Mr. Barnes. Easy for O'Leary. Here's Winterburn for Arsenal. Beardsley. Finding McMahon. Quickly turning it now to Burrows. Played first time towards Barnes. Chasing Adams. It is certainly tight in the middle of the field at the moment. Uh, players are being hurried into their passing, and for that reason, a lot of them are going astray. Now, Quinn going up for this one. At six foot four, he's entitled to win it, and he does, but here's Staunton now. It's an accurate ball played to Beardsley, but then uh, he and Whelan get themselves in a pickle. Groves gets away from Ronnie Whelan, almost got Smith in. Hanson now. Lovely stride of his, and he really shows this. But in the end, his pass couldn't reach Rush, reach Rush, and uh, Arsenal got it away. 20 minutes gone, and still nil nil. And I hear from down below that Barry Venison, if you've just joined us, has left the field after a clash of heads with Glenn Hussein, is still stretched out on the treatment table in the Liverpool dressing room. Staunton returning it. Arsenal's throw. A game of high expectations, which, apart from that early Liverpool break, really, to be absolutely honest, hasn't quite lived up to it yet. But here's Winterburn. I mean, across the face of that goal, and both Quinn and Smith tried to make a contact, but it eventually came off a Liverpool defender, and it's going to be the first corner. Well, Quinn, O'Leary, Adams, Smith are the sort of targets now for Kevin Richardson. it's Barnes who got it away but Rowcastle might turn it back hit in low Perry Groves has a shot charge down Liverpool under a little bit of pressure here but then it's put behind by Kevin Richardson and it's a goal Liverpool 6-5 to five on amongst the bookmakers to win this one Arsenal 3-1 to one. and 9-4 to four the draw the first goal Ian Rush at 5-1 to one. But at the moment it's Barnes Freeland playing it in Lukic and such is Rush's returning confidence particularly after that goal last week against Millwall we were saying before the game yeah, I think I might get the first one today as well but at the moment it's Arsenal in possession Richardson that's a lovely ball played to Quinn in turn, tried to get Perry Groves in. Rowcastle's after this one, but it was Hussein who got it as far as Michael Thomas. And now Dixon, who's not a bad crosser of the ball. And hit by Quinn, straight 
straight into the chest of Grobelar. In his first appearance for Arsenal against Liverpool back in 1985 and scored that day as well. He's got some blood on his head as well. It's a veritable battlefield out there this afternoon. Well, now that Quinn's had that shot, I think Rashi at 5-1 is not a bad bet, Brian, is he? Can't lie. Actually, he is looking, uh, here he comes after this one again, this is a part of his play, he does like to hustle defenders. And he's looking a bit more the party than Rush these last couple of weeks. And at the moment it's Beardsley. Oh, and he's got past O'Leary. He's trying to get Barnes in onto that left foot, a chip across there. And uh, the copper claiming it was a handball by Dixon. And the referee has given a penalty. Dixon unsure about it, but the cop, I must say, reacted instantly. The referee, I think, probably looked at the linesman as well. Here's Barnes, and we may get a better view from this reverse angle shot here. It came off his hand, but uh, Dixon would probably say it was accidental, and there was no intention meant, but... Referee Peck has given the penalty to Liverpool. Barnes will take it. Tries to get in again, and this time it was hooked behind, fittingly by Dixon for the corner. I think with respect, Brian, that that was fair justice. Uh, it was a very unfortunate penalty. It was one-handed, the penalty, and it was a great one-handed save. Justice all round. But here's Houghton. So Liverpool still coming forward towards Hussein. Just wide of the post. Barnes, who scored three times from the spot this season. And Lukic, it was a splendid piece of goalkeeping by John Lukic, flinging himself to the right there. Certainly was a great save. Possibly moving a little bit before the kick was taken. Brian, you've got to move a bit before <laughs> the kick's taken, otherwise you've got no chance. But I think that was fair justice. It was a bit of an unfortunate penalty. Liverpool will say at the moment there's not much going for them they've hit the Arsenal post they've had a penalty saved and it remains nil-nil you could argue it the other way and say that they've had two great chances and haven't scored Quite right. rush to Houghton Beardsley Dixon got to get back. It's having a good season. Nine clean sheets in 19 games, and with that terrific save of his, determined to make ten clean sheets today. Smith. Beating Beardsley in the end. Barnes. Beardsley. This is a strange ball by Dixon. It almost put Rush in. Would it be recommended playing it across your own penalty area when the likes of Rush and Beardsley are waiting to pounce, Jimmy? Not really, and I got an idea that uh, Tony Adams had a little tug at Ian Rush as well in, in, in the middle of all that. Well, she certainly looked very aggrieved about something. Good jump there by uh, Smith. Here's Quinn. It's a good uh, clearance there by Whelan. It's beginning to warm up a little bit now, but it's still nil-nil. Groves. It's had a foul by Hussein. Foul uh, by Hussein. Certainly Liverpool are playing the better football at, at the moment. Arsenal haven't really got into their stride at all, have they? Burn. I think that's been much of their season really, Jimmy. They've uh, captured good points without particularly playing well. I think they know that themselves. Smith. The thread is up. I think 
what George Graham says. If we can uh, keep picking up points while we're not particularly playing well and then go into overdrive in the new year, who knows, we might just hold on to our championship. Yeah, I think that's fair comment. That's how most teams win the championship, isn't it? Liverpool have done it often enough themselves. And are affecting that position themselves at the moment. That's right. Adams. Having a few problems with that rush this afternoon, Tony Adams. And now it's a free kick again to Liverpool. Clearly, his flick not likely to come off. Whelan working hard through that midfield. And so too was Thomas for Arsenal, but it's Liverpool's throw. McMahon. Beardsley just getting there a fraction before Adams. Alpen. Rush. Bring it away. Smith is offside at the moment. Quinn's got to hold on to it. And the boot was stuck out there by Staunton. Dixon getting back under a lot of pressure from McMahon and gets the corner. So Liverpool's corner. Taken by Staunton. Now Barnes. To dummy a yard out of Dixon. Rush just a fraction too high for Rush. A lovely piece of play by Barnes. It looked almost impossible uh, that he could get that ball across, but he found enough space to do it, and it was a devastating cross as well. Rush again. McMahon driving in. second of the season and Liverpool's pressure pays off at last oh, and what a great goal as well I mean we're not going to see a ball stop, struck sweeper this season than this are we super right along the ground giving John Lukic no chance Whelan who's done so much good work Rush holding off his man playing it back a very good ball played back by Rush and beyond the dive this time of Lukic Liverpool in the lead. Away goes Hanson. Here's Barnes. Go a bit further, he says to Hanson. Now, what sort of cross can he produce? Still with Hanson. Quinn got it to the way. Rowcastle. Now Smith stopped by Hussein. I think it is fair to say, Brian, that Liverpool do deserve to be one out. Arsenal have showed very little. And Liverpool have taken the game to Arsenal all the time. O'Leary down for the moment. The goal coming after 30 minutes. there for David O'Leary let's go down to Gary Newbon on the touchline 
Well, Brian, while the treatment's going on there, I can tell you that inside in the dressing room area, there's a lot of rushing around, a lot of concern about Barry Venison. The Liverpool club doctor, Dr. Reid, has just emerged from the medical room and has told me that he's sending Barry to hospital. He took a very bad uh, knock out there. He has bad concussion and they are concerned about him. So Barry Venison on his way to hospital in a few minutes. It's amazing how simple things can look because it just didn't look that uh, that that bad, did it? A clash of heads with uh, Glenn Hussein, his teammate. But Liverpool leading by a goal to nil. Let's have a look again at Steve McMahon's stunning shot from way outside the box. As Ronnie Whelan played it in, some good work here by Ian Rush, holding off the defender, pushing a nice little ball back there, and met, as Jimmy Greaves said, so sweetly by Steve McMahon. What's interesting about that is that the first goal last week for Liverpool was made by Ian Rush by battling in there and getting his body in and holding the ball. And the same thing's happened again this week. Whelan. Staunton chasing after it. 20-year-old Irishman, Republic of Ireland International, with a growing reputation here now at Anfield, doing a good solid job of work. Barrows, Rush, little touch to Beardsley, oh a nice ball played by Beardsley for Rush, Barnes is in there too, Arsenal struggling to get back, the back heel for Beardsley. Thomas going across there to help Dixon. But Beardsley gets it out to Staunton. And the linesman flagging vigorously on the far side for an offside. I think probably against John Barnes. but it's Hansen who wins it for Liverpool Big it to Liverpool a foul on Hussein by Quinn I think that was a good decision by the referee neither Quinn nor Smith are actually going up for the ball with any conviction and with their height advantage one would have expected them to have caused more trouble than they have won only two of the last six both of them look live on TV they might enjoy the live cameras I think Arsenal actually last season it's reading somewhere today that they had a, a good long run uh, with live television and didn't lose a game this was saying Barnes Dixon to Winterburn He was at him like a little terrier there. And something went on after the game, after that ball had gone away. And uh, Steve McMahon's in some trouble now with uh, referee Peck. McMahon and Richardson are both Evertonians, aren't they? Both ex Evertonians. That's right. That's right. They've both been at it from the off. And uh, I think one had to go in the book sooner or later. That was the fair. So a yellow card for Steve McMahon following the one by Tony Adams and Arsenal I think with a few other problems because David O'Leary has got a heavily bandaged left boot and I think he's struggling with it not like Quavalar there who was perfect with his handling so trouble there for O'Leary as he goes for this ball gets to it though Arsenal with Martin Hayes and Siggy Jonsson, the two substitutes. 
O'Leary gets it away. Beardsley. Rowcastle to Thomas to Rowcastle. Forward to Smith. Trying to get Quinn away. Hussein sticking close to his job there, but Quinn doing well. Gets it to Rowcastle. Smith. No, in comes Houghton. Here's Wheeler. Suddenly there are red shirts forwards. And stopped by Adams. Burrows playing it on. Beardsley. Sweeping pass there by McMahon. Cut out by Dixon. McMahon cutting that one out. Here's Barnes. A lively period this. Beardsley, who's had some lovely little touches since he came on. Staunton. Long-range shots over the top. Falling in amongst the pop in this all-ticket crowd here at Anfield today. And Liverpool are leading by one goal to nil. And it'll be uh, John Lukic. Castle after him, O'Leary after him, but Barnes gets a corner out of them and nearly finishes up in the cop himself. That's one of the great sights in the game at the moment. Barnes in full stride, taking on people and uh, most times outpacing them. And not getting this corner. Houghton will take it. Hussein's up from the back. Whelan's in there too, and he's played it directly to McMahon. Stepped in by McMahon. Smith gets it away, not very far. It's with Houghton for Beardsley. A lovely touch by Beardsley. Houghton playing it in, and O'Leary gets it away. Staunton's throw. Whelan's touch. Beardsley. Jimmy Greaves are playing some delightful stuff in and around that penalty area. Some lovely little uh, passing movements. And Peter Beardsley, the number 12, is really at uh, the forefront of most of it. Here's Ray Houghton. He's knocking some good through balls, is Peter Beardsley. And that was a good run by John Barnes, taking on David O'Leary, who does seem to be struggling a little bit on that foot. Certainly Liverpool are well on top and, and look like uh, being the side that's going to score again if there's another goal coming. Four minutes of the first half left. Steve McMahon's goal after 30 minutes, separating the two sides. Wheeler. Rush. Ooh, what a ball. The flag stays down, but Beardsley can't collect. And this time, Rush is offside. getting back quickly enough caught offside good tactics by Peter Beardsley though to close the goalkeeper down when he's doing that sort of thing Hanson can Barnes get there well, that was a lovely touch by Barnes just a little flick with the outside of the boots but couldn't gather three minutes of the first half left Liverpool 1-0 might have been two if Ray Houghton had uh, Scored early on instead of hitting the post. And of course, three if John Barnes had scored from the penalty spot. And Arsenal, in truth, this far, Jimmy, without a real serious shot on Bruce Gobelar's goal. No, they've been very disappointing. Uh, they haven't really got anything together. They're, they're not really comfortable at the back. Their midfield hasn't shown at all. And most disappointing, uh, 
of all, really, are the front two who haven't put any pressure on the Liverpool defence. Barry Groves. Here's Arsenal's throw, though. Groves with it. And missile thrown into the Liverpool penalty area by Groves. There it is. Richardson trying to get in there. Rocastle shot. Well, that sums it up a little bit as well, doesn't it? So, to put it into perspective, it's been Liverpool, and uh, quite rightly so, they've been the much better side this time. Here's Hussein. the last minute of the first half Jimmy and it's a chance maybe for Arsenal to get themselves back on level terms Winterburn who's got a fantastic left foot on him Michael Thomas is there Kevin Richardson is there as well it's a direct free kick and Kevin Richardson wanting that Liverpool wall back the full 10 yards they've gradually given half a yard at any rate Winterburn shot well well wide And a goal kick for Liverpool. Yeah, I think that sums it up, doesn't it? When you think that they've got to use a set piece as possibly their best chance of the half with a minute to go. Put your time added on at the end of the first half. Two stoppages. See how generous Mr. Peck, the referee, has been. Another free kick, this time the foul by Thomas on McMahon. winning it against Adams but Dixon getting it away Hussein for Liverpool in comes Rowcastle supported by Thomas supported by Richardson but it's Barnes now Wheeler and a lovely ball Beardsley on the far side Rush racing through the middle still with Beardsley Rush another chance has gone away Like Ian Rush, and it was some yeah, splendid well, uh, work by Birds. Did you agree? It was indeed. It was a great ball by Steve McMahon, and I don't know what Ian was doing there. I don't think he knows himself. And great work by Peter Beardsley, a move that really did deserve a second goal. Still 1 0 to Liverpool. But now Quinn up, Steve Staunton away for Liverpool. The header by Winterburn. Up goes Hussein, head and shoulders above Richardson then. Groves. Bounded by three men in red shirts. Look at the work Beardsley's doing again. And uh, credit to Peter Beardsley for that. Hustling all the way and eventually forcing an error out of David O'Leary. Two minutes of injury time played. Beardsley again. Rowcastle to the floor. Half time whistle. Liverpool leading by a goal to nil. Scorer Steve McMahon after 30 minutes. Welcome back to Anfield, ladies and gentlemen, with Liverpool leading by one goal to nil. Steve McMahon, the scorer. 
probably our last visit of these, certainly the live cameras in the 1980s here. But what a fabulous decade it's been for the likes of Alan Hansen, who's seen most of it. And just look at their record over the 1980s. They've won six league titles to Arsenal's one. They've twice won the FA Cup, four League Cup, Little Woods Cup, Milk Cup, the rest of it, two European Cups, 14 trophies, and Arsenal with two. But, of course, Arsenal, the current league champions. But a fabulous decade for Liverpool. We'll be just about ready then to start this second half. Arsenal, with David O'Leary, in fact, is still in the side. We wonder whether maybe he would come off at half-time, but and indeed the bandage has gone from his ankle. I would think he's had his sock off at half time and it's now firmly placed on his skin to be ripped off afterwards. In goes Rush. And a foul on Rush by Richardson. And again, well, the referee calling his the player to him and diving into his pocket for the yellow card for Kevin Richardson. was a fairly uh, tough challenge there on Ian Rush who is getting some treatment now well it does seem as though Richardson and uh, McMahon have been at each other for the whole of the first half I don't know whether Richardson thought that uh, Ian Rush was Steve McMahon or what but uh, it's a reasonable the yellow decision. cards But Rush is OK. Well, wow, he's reasonably OK. It's Hansen with the free kick. A throw given Arsenal's way. Just as a little exercise, you may remember last Wednesday night where Everton's goalkeeper Neville Southall was penalised for holding the ball for 13 seconds gave away an indirect or at least a, a free kick indirect free kick inside the box uh, from which Nottingham Forest scored we don't know whether 13 seconds is a long time or not Hussein shadowing that one over I'm certainly not going to castigate the referee or indeed Neville Southall but we've just kept a clock on what the goalkeepers today have been doing and the longest period we've had is 11 seconds by the man in the picture at the moment Bruce Grobelaar the average seems to be something around the seven or eight seconds that goalkeepers hold the ball. And of course, later in the game, when you're holding on to a lead, who knows? We'll check that out through the second half. Staunton. That's a throw to Arsenal. And it's Lukic who's had to come all of 35 yards out of his goal to get the ball and uh, wants to get it down to Lee Dixon. And away we go again. Barnes, Dixon, Richardson. Here's Graves. Smith, Thomas, Dixon, O'Leary, towards Smith, won that well enough in the air. Richardson there first. Certainly if uh, Arsenal did feel that Liverpool were a little bit vulnerable in the air at the back and with their two six-footers up front, they haven't really uh, tested that theory to any great extent. They do miss the work down the flanks of Brian Marwood. And certainly uh, Alan Smithwood. Brian, sadly not here today, following the death of his father in the last few days. Our condolences to, uh, to him and his family. And at the moment, Alan Hansen in the wars. It really does seem like a battlefield out there. It's one of those days today, Jimmy. As everybody keeps getting little knocks and nicks and... Uh... Here's another one, it's, yes, the inside of his eye. He's got a little nick there. I don't think uh, Alan's going to come off for that. But as you were saying, 
even without Brian Marwood, th there's enough ability in the Arsenal side to be able to supply the material for Niall Quinn and Alan Smith, and it just hasn't come across. And the little bit they've had, it hasn't happened for them anyway. Here's the incident coming up now. Good jump by Smith. It was a good jump, actually. Difficult to see what happened. It might have been a, an elbow or yeah, something. Yeah, it might have been a flailing arm or something like that, but it was uh, certainly no blame could be attached to Alan Smith for it. But it's a free kick here to Liverpool. Steve Staunton with it, and away we go again. Liverpool leading 1-0. Richardson's little header to Thomas. Back to Richardson again. Groves. Skill by Barnes and away he goes. Groves is after him. Beardsley waiting in the middle. Rush coming up on the far side. It's a great cross in there by Barnes. Always tempting Lukic to come, but Lukic always feeling he couldn't quite get there. And uh, Rush almost getting on the end of it. But it's Quinn at the other end now as Smith goes marauding forwards. But Ovalar gets it for Liverpool. Great work by Barnes. And here's Staunton now for Liverpool. Richardson, Groves. McMahon. That's a place for brave men out there today. There's again a duel between Richardson and McMahon there. Thomas, nice touch. Quinn. Smith, Richardson, Wilson just get to Winterburn, Alton couldn't quite get to it, and the flag is up on the far side against Michael Thomas, a free kick to Liverpool. Michael Thomas, 22, will remember that night in May the rest of his life, and I suppose if he goes on playing until he's 40, unless he maybe scores a winning goal for England in a World Cup final, he will never ever quite equal that moment, but he scored that amazing goal right at the end that clinched the title for Arsenal. Michael Thomas. Thinking about it, I think he'll remember that moment. away on that left flank at the moment. And this is Winterburn making the break. You can see many Arsenal men from the back coming forward. At the time it's Whelan getting it away. And it's a free kick. And I can only think that free kick was for the foul by Burrows on the other side there against Winterburn. I think it was. To be critical of the big two up front, and one has to be, they're not showing at all. They're not giving their midfield players or anybody who's getting the ball a target to hit. Richardson's free kick for Arsenal. Plenty of height there in the box, but in fact it came in low and it needed the challenge of Ronnie Whelan to get it behind for the Arsenal corner. They will surely look for the likes of Smith and Quinn here. Quinn has taken a deep position on the edge of the penalty area. Now he's making his run. Smith coming in behind him. It's Smith's header. And Perry Groves almost in there. Alan Smith in there. Kicked away by Houghton. Richardson turning it back again. Liverpool not out of the wood yet. In the end, Quinn's header is gathered by Grobelar. Splendid piece of work by Alan Smith. And uh, it needed Houghton at that post to keep Liverpool in front. That was just the soft header by Quinn. It was the shot by Smith before that. It was uh, the real moment. Here's Richardson. It came off Groves. It'll be a Liverpool throw. But certainly the closest Jimmy Greaves by a long way that Arsenal have come to scoring. Yeah, that's the most pressure they've put Liverpool under. And it nearly paid off for them. And they must know that that's what they've got to do if they're going to get back into this game. 
Noticeable now whenever Barnes gets the ball there, like a swarm around him. Free kick to Arsenal. Whelan, the culprit. I'm not sure whether that did any, any favours to Arsenal then. I think uh, the referee would have done better to have allowed that to have just carry on being played. O'Leary with the kick. Hit high towards Smith. Quinn in there too. Thomas in there too. Grobelar also. Grobelar diving after it and didn't get it. Rocastle. Thomas in support. It came off half and it's Arsenal's throw. This is a better spell by Arsenal. Still a goal down though. Castle's back heel, picked up by Barrows, picked up again by Rowcastle. Knocked away by Wheeler. Well, it's a great atmosphere here. I'm sure it's coming through to you at home now. The cop in full voice. Quinn touching it on. Adams up there as well. It's a little bit different now because the big men are getting a touch to it with their heads and it is making uh, for a little bit of panic in the Liverpool area. Augmented there by Tony Adams. Here's another throw for Arsenal. A long one. Quinn hoping to get on the end of it. McMahon struggling to get it away. Rush after this one. Dixon there with him. A foul given against Rush. A free kick to Arsenal. So the pressure on the home side, the home side is maintained. O'Leary will plant this one into the uh, penalty area. And again, Tony Adams is up there. And Smith. Quinn making to make his run. It's Quinn. It didn't really jump high enough. And Houghton gets it away. Up to Rush. A touch for Beardsley. A touch for Barnes. Showed it to uh, Dixon, said would you like a bit of it, and then took it past him, and then Dixon went down. A foul is given against the Arsenal fullback, and it's a free kick to uh, Liverpool. 35,983, the crowd here at Anfield this afternoon. Not their biggest of the season. A foul by Dixon. The timing was wrong. Himself injured as well. You can see the faces of protest there in the crowd. I think they're the Arsenal fans. So Gary Lewin doing the work on the Arsenal fullback. And Beardsley uh, and Rush will be waiting in the penalty area. Will curl the free kick. It's Kenny Dalglish. There in the Arsenal bench, George Graham, and on the right, Theo Foley. Dixon's okay. Barnes's free kick. Halpin tries to get in. Whelan tries to keep it going. McMahon playing it wide. And pushed away again by Dixon. Or another Liverpool corner. Oh, not a corner. Barnes was trying to pull a fast one then, but it had in fact just gone this side of the corner flag. We press in there towards Rush. It was a good cross, and it was, a good it, one. it was an opportunity for Ian Rush, really. He got his head to it, probably blinded a, a little bit. Hustled out of it there by Winterburn. They've stepped the pace up a little bit, Arsenal, in this second half. A little more purposeful and positive themselves. Is that a shove in the back on Quinn by Hussein? It was. It's a free kick for Arsenal. Might be sort of position where Winterburn might fancy a crack at something. It's, what, 23 yards out, but it could not be more central. So Kopf 
the moment is hushed. Thomas Winterburn Richardson looks to be taking a very active part in sorting this out. It's Richardson who might well make the strike. There's his touch. There's Kevin Richardson. Charged down by Staunton. Adams, will he get the better of Barnes? No. But he gets a corner. Post Adams in there, Quinn again making his charge. It's Quinn's head up. Groves looking for an overhead. Adams trying to get in there. It might go anywhere. Thomas keeping it going for Arsenal. Played in the game by Quinn. Hussein gets it away as far as Winterburn. Here's Rowcastle, possessor of a great shot, but short enough from that distance. Richardson turning it in again. Quinn, the big man on the far side, goes down. The referee spreads his arm wide. There's no penalty. It's a goal kick for Liverpool. Not that I'm sure they'd have got it, but the referee was totally blind to this, so one way or another, I think it was a fair enough decision. Well, looking at that slow motion replay, it was a very fair decision. And the, uh, I'm sure the cop agree. The cop are whistling. And, you know, that's not far from being ungentlemanly conduct. saying some most uncomplimentary things in the direction of Niall Quinn. They feel it was an outrageous dive. Now slow motion replay suggests the same. Rocastle. Thomas. Dixon trying to get it on this one and does well. Hussein's header back to Brother. There's a bit of coolness for you from the uh, big Swedish defender. Adams. Ola. That's been having a scoring start to the second half. But still are a goal down. Liverpool leading 1-0. Back by Dixon. Actually, the three occasions they've met this season in the Charity Shield, the Makita Trophy and the Liverpool Woods Cup all ended 1-0. The first one to Liverpool, the second two to Arsenal. Winterburn gets it in. Perry Groves with a shot, deflection. The deflection, in fact, took what little sting there was out of it. And it was easy for Bruce Butler. Smith up. Smith again. fight to Liverpool now they're having a good second half but suddenly Beards is away he's onside he's got Rush up there with him O'Leary backing off him and Winterburn coming in to tidy it up and clear his lines for Arsenal Richardson. 
Now Leary. That's Hussein's header. Leary. It's a brave little header there by McMahon. And he decides he finds Beardsley in turn, looks for Rush. Brought down. He was a little unfortunate there, Adams. And it's a free kick for Liverpool. Yeah, he was unlucky. I don't think you can blame Tony Adams for this. The ball was running away from both of them, actually. Beardsley, I would have thought possibly had lost his footing just as Adams made that first challenge. I don't think it was a dive by Beardsley. But what it does, it gives Liverpool an opportunity here. Whelan, who can curl a wicked free kick, and Barnes can certainly match it. We're having a conversation now, who's going to take it? Well, that's something Arsenal don't know. And Lukic would like to know. It's going to be Barnes. Curl brilliantly! What a fabulous free kick goal! What a glorious moment of pure football skill from John Barnes. Whelan runs over it. Barnes, in true Brazilian style, floats it inch perfect wide of Lukic. And Liverpool are two up. Jimmy Greaves. Well, it's something in the game that you can make for as much provision for as you want to. You can practice, you can get your line right, you can do whatever you want for hours on end. But when a flash of brilliance like that comes up, there's nothing anyone can do about it. And that's exactly what happened. It was a flash of brilliance that nobody could do a thing about. Superb effort. John Barnes, five goals in his last five games. And each one of them sprinkled with a little bit of magic. His 11th of the season, his 10th in the league. And that after missing from the penalty spot. Dixon. Thomas. Out and gets it away. Beardsley all oh, at Touch and a beautiful one by Beersley. McMahon in full stride to rush. In comes Winterburn. Yeah, looking at John Barnes there, it really was a goal where sometimes you can look around and say, well, who was to blame him? But you just couldn't do it. Man. And the Nile uh, Quinn now. The Liverpool manager Kenny Dalglish, normally the most phlegmatic of men, was on his feet as he always is, but applauding wildly at John Barnes' moment of magic. But that yeah. moment is past. He looks happy, didn't he? <laughs> Beardsley, nice little backward header there for Rush. Beardsley again, looking for Rush again. That time held up by O'Leary, who's knocked to the ground. Shot at Houghton. That was a cruel blow for David O'Leary. In fact, he got a good header to the first one, and then in following through, Houghton really what one towards goal. Well, he got a good header to the second one, Brian. <laughs> While we're looking for David O'Leary, we also look again at that See, magical every, moment. Everything's in order, Brian. The whole wall is perfectly lined up, the wall jump. The ball's just perfectly placed. And Jimmy, you've got a goalkeeper in there who stands six foot four, so it's never going to be easy. It's never going to be easy, but you could not fault the goalkeeper. He was perfectly placed as well. Well, it won't do much, I'm sure, for Arsenal fans around the country, but anybody else who loves a little bit of football, that should really warm your afternoon. And they're taking off Niall Quinn. Arsenal and Martin Hayes will come on but in fact I think O'Leary might have a problem so uh, well he's certainly not on his feet yeah
This is it. So Hayes is on for Quinn. That's that we do know. The problem with David O'Leary, people don't realise, but when a ball is driven at that strength and it hits you in the wrong place, it can be just like a, a punch by a boxer. And everyone tends to think, oh, he's all right, he'll get up in a minute. But it can be that serious. And you can easily be floored by a ball because it, it is one heavy thing when it hits you. You can see here, I mean... The ball is powerfully struck and it's hit David O'Leary on the side of the head. And um, that's not a good place to be hit. No, I mean, it's not a good place to be hit. But, but I suppose, fortunately, he was just turning away from it. If it had smashed straight into his nose and his eyes, who knows? But uh, the doctor coming on again. And we are showing you this afternoon that it can be a man's game. But more than that, uh, a stretcher now coming on. It is a problem, this. It's something that I've always been aware of with, with players. People just assume that when you get hit by a football that it doesn't hurt. But it can be quite a, a lethal weapon. Which means that Arsenal will also bring on their second substitute, Siggy Johnson. An Icelandic player they bought from Sheffield Wednesday who really has become quite a cult figure with the Arsenal fans. They love him on the North Bank. He scored his first goal for the club against Queen's Park Rangers last weekend. Poor old David O'Leary has had an unhappy match. He's twisted his ankle and now he's got uh, a very bad head. It's not been one of David's better days. Well, we wish him well. We'll bring you... Uh, the news of David O'Leary just as quickly as we can get it. Siggy Jonsson on. So they put Michael Thomas straight away to... There's Siggy Jonsson. They put Michael Thomas to a central defensive position. And I imagine Siggy Jonsson will play just in front of them. At the moment he's marking Ian Rush. It's Liverpool's throw. Winterburn to Hayes, the substitute. Now for Thomas, played on towards Rowe Castle. And scoring it. but Rush got there first for that one. Another game being played this afternoon in the second division. Swindon Town, two. Duncan Shearer both the goals. Portsmouth, two. Martin Poole and Guy Whittingham the scorers there. 2-2 two -two at the county ground in Swindon. And 2-0 here. The goals by Steve McMahon and John Barnes for Liverpool. Take the free kick. Hayes. Winterburn to Hayes. And policed over there by Burroughs and by McMahon. But he got away from both of them. Played the ball in for Groves. Wanted to find that Whelan was waiting there. Here's Richardson. The shot was deflected and Grobler's handling was secure. Lost one game at home uh, this season, not uh, uh, Liverpool to uh, Coventry City. There's Barnes. It's a goal kick for Arsenal.
Robertson. Up goes Smith. Hussein. As we soon begin to thread those journeys up the M1, M6 into the northwest. They lost at Old Trafford to Manchester United 4 1 on the opening day. They lost to Everton just across half a mile across Stanley Park from here. 3 0. They lost to Oldham in midweek in the Littlewoods Cup, 3-1. And here they are, 2-0 down to Liverpool at Anfield today. And at the moment, Brian, looking at the... There's no way back for them. Looks that way at the moment, Jimmy. And you get the feeling, too, that Liverpool again are going to be the force. If they win here today, remember, they go top of the table again on goal difference with a game in hand. Johnson winning it above Beardsley. Grove Castle. Groves. Stopped by Hansen. And a foul there, an obstruction by Thomas. A free kick to Liverpool. Let's see, about 14 minutes. Plus a lot of injuries. Huh? A lot. <laughs> David O'Leary is fully conscious. He's come round. They're deciding at this moment in the dressing room as to whether he should go to hospital or not. strange how football goes at times because last week we saw a game as equally as physical and nobody at all got injured this week everyone's going down like nine things Hayes out and after him still with Hayes trying to flip the ball inside for Groves Groves nonetheless picks it up and finds Winterburn Burns long cross towards Alan Smith. Barnes. Johnson gets it. Actually, the time when football is very much on trial for its good behaviour. It has been a really competitive game. Three bookings in this one, but it's, for all that, been a good game played in a very adult way, it seems to me. A little bit of sparkiness in the midfield with the likes of McMahon and Richardson, but heavens above you expect that. And that one dive in the penalty area by Niall Quinn, which I must say goes against the grain with me. But other than that, Jimmy, it's been a good old game, hasn't it? Yes, it has. It's like we've said, Brian, it's been good on his physical stuff. There has been, unfortunately, a few injuries. Right. Rogues with a throw for Arsenal. In the main, as you're saying, the bookings are centred around two individuals anyway, be it McMahon and Richardson. Go! Can Richardson get on the end of this one? Can Winterburn? Oh, Winterburn was just... Put his finger on the trigger for that one, just as Dixon did as well. Grobelar plunging across his goal, but it finishes up in the pocket. It's still 2-0 to Liverpool. Struck a good ball there, Lee Dixon. His three goals this season have all come from the penalty spot. And the cop reluctant to release the ball. Times have changed for Lee Dixon. Yes, it, it was a good shot. It was probably a bit too far out, as you say, Brian. 12 yards is his. Adams getting above Beardsley. Hayes. To Smith. Staunton's in there, Smith! And Arsenal have pulled one back with Alan Smith. An untidy goal, but a valuable one for all that. And who knows, we might get quite a finish here now. It was a very untidy goal. It was a total mix-up, really. None of the Liverpool players going for it, and Smith got his toe to it. So Liverpool lead 2-1. Jimmy and I were saying there looks to be no way back. Suddenly there might just be a way back for Arsenal. Up 
goes Winterberg. Certainly a bad goal for Liverpool to give away at this stage of the game. It was just total lack of concentration on their behalf. Thomas. Rhodes. Nine minutes of the game left now. Dixon. Still seeing a ray of hope in all of this. Dixon again taking it from Rowcastle. Hansen not sure what to do. Surrounded there by Smith and by Thomas. His football brain came to his rescue and his skill with it. Hayes, Thomas right in there. Winterburn looking to get it onto the left foot, but Halfman wouldn't allow him. I think we're going to get another dramatic climax from Arsenal as we did last May here. Thomas certainly playing more and more forward, coming with some of those runs from the midfield which we didn't see anything of in the first half. in the dressing room I'm sure his friends and family would be delighted to know in the dressing room and he's okay not going to hospital Barnes Smith Staunton Barnes away he goes again but Smith's after him Barnes shrugs him off Ooh, anyway all the way there the referee looked towards the situation for what about the penalty and decided otherwise Again, another great bounds run, but I don't think so. I think it was just a question of losing his balance. Smith getting it on, Thomas going in! And Arsenal's throw. And Hayes has made quite a difference since he's come on. He's done some good work down that left flank. And Thomas playing a much more forward role has given Arsenal a real big glimmer of hope of saving this game. Adams in there. There's Thomas in there, and he couldn't quite turn on it. Hansen gets it away. Up to Rush. A touch by him to Houghton. But that's cut out by Dixon. Whelan, Beardsley, all given away to Winterburn. Liverpool won't be happy with that. Rowcastle. Smith. Here's Winterburn. Hayes, touch to Winterburn, played on to Groves. They're playing some good stuff now, Arsenal. Much better than in the first half. Dixon again, played for Rowcastle. Now, what sort of damage can he create? Not much there, but Thomas is there to play it into the middle. Hussein didn't really get onto that one. But Whelan gets it back to Grubelar. Six minutes left. Liverpool two, Arsenal one. So much excitement, Jimmy. I've uh, not even asked you about your contenders, not the man of the match, but the contenders for the man of the match. There was quite a few contenders. Actually. Certainly the back two for Liverpool. I, I think Barnes again, yet again. Steve McMahon yet again on the Arsenal side, I think. Richardson's had a good game. Thomas has played well. The two fullbacks haven't done badly. Have I left anybody out? <laughs> I think he's trying to get in there. Arsenal claiming that he was bundled to the ground. But I don't think their claims had much substance. Certainly not in the eyes of the referee. Burrows. 
Nice Liverpool's throw. Keeping our little theme going of how long goalkeepers handle the ball. Bruce Bovelaar's last go was in fact exactly 13 seconds. You remember last Wednesday, Neville Southall held it for 13 seconds, conceded an indirect free kick and Everton were out of the Littlewoods Cup. It's still 2-1, that's the vital statistic, statistic here now at Anfield. And that's going to be a goal kick. silly thing to do Staunton in no way was holding up the taking of that corner and Groves was fairly petulant and aggressive and is being called to the referee which really is no point from Arsenal they just want to get on with the game they don't want any hold-ups now so here's Richardson with the corner can Arsenal save it yet Liverpool poised to deny them three minutes of the game left a good long one there towards Smith and a foul on uh, a Liverpool player by Alan Smith. It's a free kick to Liverpool. Jimmy Greaves, your man of the match today at Anfield. Well, quite honestly, I think he's been back to his best today. It is Alan Hansen. I think he's had a super game. He's captained the side well. He's got a bloody nose, but he's had a superb game. Alan Hansen, man of the match. after this one but uh, Siggy Johnson gets it back two minutes left Smith goes up Barnes left that and Perry Groves was very nearly in Dixon will up that one and rush now getting on to the end of this one Tony Adams is after him there's not a lot of support but Beardsley is coming up quickly Beardsley did well there Beardsley Goalkeeper. And he would have been in the running for man of the match as well. Actually, Peter Beersley was definitely man of the match first half. I, I think mainly because Liverpool have been pegged back and he hasn't been able to get into the game so much second half that uh, one's had to leave him out. But he's certainly done very well here. I think Liverpool have settled and are just looking for the odd break, which they nearly, nearly achieved there. Up. As everybody on the cop knows, you never know with Arsenal. Their memory goes back just a few short months. It was the dying seconds then. And Arsenal looking to do the same sort of thing here. But it's McMahon played back there by Houghton. And that might put his defence in some problem, but Hussein just gets it back as Groves went in. Inside the last minutes. There will be some injury time as Rush gets away from Jonsson. This is the real Rush, but that wasn't. That really was a great run by Ian Rush. A real striker's run. It was a superb effort. Just a shame that uh, the finish was really bad. Rush again. Winterburn, Arsenal looking to spring forward in these dying seconds. The playing time added on now. That's McMahon.
Smith. Bravola has got to come for this one. Just getting there before Michael Thomas. Whelan. will take it. Nobody's hurrying now, are they? Nope. Oh. Oh, he hit it straight at Dixon. Shot on the ball. Now Lukic. What will he do? Straight to the other end of the field, I would imagine. Indeed. A drop kick high towards Smith. Thomas! Almost getting it through to Perry Groves, and for a moment it looked as though Hansen might embarrass Robola. And me, I've just given him man of the match. I think nearly two minutes of time added on now. I forget we've still got all the goals from yesterday's first division programme to come. To the three so far we've had here, including that beauty from Barnes. Another throw to Arsenal. And if they're going to save it, they've got to save it quickly now. Smith, touched on the game. Flick on once more to Groves. Flick on to Winterburn. And here's Hayes on the far side. But Burrows was there to clear his lines for Liverpool. But it's Arsenal's throw. They want the ball quickly. Goodness knows there's precious little time for them. 2-1 down to Liverpool. The long throw by Perry Groves. Beardsley with a cushion header there. Houghton getting it away to Rush. He loses it to Rowcastle. McMahon gets it away. Beardsley. Only Johnson is back. Rush coming up for him. Can Beardsley do it alone? Tries to get it through to Rush. But there's an infringement and Arsenal get a free kick. A really enjoyable game of football here at Anfield this afternoon. And a final whistle, which brings victory for Liverpool. Some small revenge from the events of last May. And a shining bonus now for Liverpool because they go back to the top of the table on goal difference. McMahon and a splendid goal by Barnes, their scorers. Alan Smith, the scorer for Arsenal. Alan Hansen, the man of the match.